During the American Civil War, manpower, or the lack thereof, became a serious issue for Confederate armies. Uh, the initial surge of volunteers when the war first began in 1861 quickly waned, and by January 1862 it was clear that something had to be done to place enough men in the field to fight. As a result, between 1862 and 64, the Confederate government in Richmond enacted a series of conscription laws, creating and then modifying a military draft. Once the draft began, conscription officers kept ledgers that documented the information on the men who were subject to military service. Uh, you'll see, for example, their names, ages, height, and a brief description of the actions the conscript officer took. Some men were sent to a physician uh, to verify that they had a disability which would not allow them to serve. Others were sent directly into Army training camps. The two conscription ledgers that we have here in the Auburn University archives date back to 1864 in the Dadeville, Alabama area. Not only are the ledgers rare and fragile, uh, but sometime in the early 20th century, someone decided to use them as scrapbooks. You'll see, for example, many of the pages are covered in glued on newspaper articles, uh, which conceal the historical information underneath. Our goal in this fundraising effort is to raise enough money to send these conscription ledgers to the Etherington Conservation Center uh, in North Carolina. Etherington will remove the newspaper and, and restore the ledgers to a more acceptable condition. If left in their present condition, they will eventually become unreadable and unusable, and we will lose an important piece of our history. We want to thank all of the donors who have already given to this effort, and we would like to extend an invitation to those who haven't had an opportunity to give. We certainly appreciate any help they may be able to provide.